Comic Boom. Hey guys, Comic Boom here to talk about Joshua Williamson's The Flash. Seven issues, 754, 55, 56. I'm frustrated. Let me tell you why. Okay guys, the latest issue of Joshua Williamson's The Flash 756 has Reverse Flash trying to form a Legion of Zoom. But hey, when I last reviewed Flash, uh, he was still fighting Paradox. So how did that story resolve? Well, unfortunately, that story was just as badly written as I was fearing it would be. Joshua Williamson, the writer, unfortunately, doesn't even bother. I don't, he's not even trying to make sense anymore. It's that bad. It's that horrendous. There is very little nice I can say about the lack of any kind of sensible plot in The Flash has rendered it one of the most disappointing titles that DC has. And I'm going to say something that hasn't been said, but it has to be said. This is worse than Tom King's Batman. It is, it is. And in fact, I should probably have a debate with somebody on a live stream just to have some fun because there are so many things horribly done in this run by Joshua Williamson. So many nonsensical things that for every, every one of Tom King's screw up on the long narrative of his Batman, I could probably name at least one, maybe two, of how Joshua Williamson screwed up his Flash run. And, but at least with Tom King, you could, you, there was some sort of, you could get into Tom King's, you, you could almost sit in Tom King's mind and appreciate the nonsense in Tom King's mind. Because at least with Tom King, well, you know, if Tom King went off on a side note, he'd maybe throw in a poem. Maybe it didn't make a lot of sense, but you could at least see, at least individual issues had theme or, or a point. They didn't fit together well as a narrative, but individually you could kind of see what the point was. You could still see some string, some semblance of an attempt, some plausible way to try to make it all cohesive. It failed utterly and spectacularly, of course. It was, of course, Tom King's Batman. But with Joshua Williamson, understand, now with Joshua Williamson, when he, whenever he starts to make sense in a plot, he undoes everything because of an, whether it's the introduction of a new speed force, sage force, strength force, forever force, another speedster, another one, uh, reverse flash, reverse flash dies, he's back. Reverse flash dies again, he's back. He dies a third time, he's back. You know, we got paradox. Guess what? Guess what the motivation of the new villain is in Flash? He hates Barry Allen. Why? Because he hates the Flash legacy. Why? Because he just hates Barry Allen. Why? Because it's the in thing to do. You know? Just like Wonder Woman likes getting on her knees and supplicating herself to her enemy and forgiving anybody, even genocidal maniacs, like Paula Von Gunther, War Master, Flash likes to always run. Just run. And think of Iris. Just run really fast. Run your problems away. That's all he does. You know, that's all he does. Oh, and time travel. Paradox. How was Paradox defeated? Get this. This is, uh, now, you're going to think a first grader wrote this. And maybe a first grader did. I, I actually don't know. I've not seen any evidence that Joshua Williamson has a high school diploma. So, jury's still out. So, maybe a first grader did write this. But let's, l let me tell you how Paradox is defeated. Now, you recall that Barry Allen decides... You know, he teams up with Reverse Flash. Now, why did Barry Allen team up with Reverse Flash to defeat Paradox? Because Barry Allen heard that Reverse Flash was the only person to ever defeat Paradox in the 25th century. So he had to go and get him. So he goes and he gets Reverse Flash. Reverse Flash tells him that I defeated Paradox by using the lightning rod. It was never explained how the lightning rod helps him defeat paradox that's never explained and in any event it didn't work the, the, the lightning rod doesn't work it doesn't defeat paradox because paradox has acquired too many too much power too much power because of all the times that Barry Allen has gone and traveled into the past and created a paradox that 
cause a, a massive temporal wave, which feeds Paradox's power. Now, <laughs> what's interesting here is that no mention is made of how many times has Reverse Flash traveled back in time. A hell of a lot more than Barry Allen. Reverse Flash does time traveling all the time. And Reverse Flash has been killed by Dr. Manhattan. He's been killed by Iris West. Reverse Flash has been killed. I mean, how many times has he been killed? We don't know how many times Reverse Flash has been killed. The only one who seems to know how many times Reverse Flash has been killed is Reverse Flash. And it doesn't seem to bother him very much. <laughs> but let me, and it certainly doesn't seem to bother Joshua Williamson because he keeps writing about it. Now, the problem, of course, is that this creates a whole bunch of time paradoxes. So if it creates a time paradox, and if the guy who's dying all the time doesn't care that he's dying all the time, what's the meaning of death have in a Flash comic book? What is the point of all this nonsense? Because none of it makes any sense. Because now in defe defeating paradox, Reverse Flash first has the idea, well, let's go back in time and let's kill paradox before he became paradox. So they tried that once, but before they could, before Reverse Flash could kill Paradox before he became Paradox. Barry Allen, of course, wanted, stopped him. But then Paradox himself came back and Paradox killed himself in the past. Now that, you would think that would cause Paradox to be erased from existence, but it didn't. So then how did it wrap up in 755? How did they finally defeat Paradox? Well, Reverse Flash went back in time again and defeated Paradox before the event that made him Paradox and that killed him. So Paradox killing his past self didn't defeat Paradox, but Reverse Flash preventing Paradox from ex experiencing the event that made him turn into the Flash, or that made him turn into Paradox in the first place, which was when Barry Allen faced the turtle in Flash Year One, that apparently did defeat Paradox. What sense does that make? What sense does that make? You, you kill Paradox in the past and that doesn't erase him in the present? But yet, if you prevent him from, from turning to, into Paradox in the past, that does erase him in the present? What sense does that make? It doesn't make any sense. The rules of time travel here under Joshua Williamson are nonsensical. Now, to make it even worse, at the end of issue 755, just out of the blue, Reverse Flash decides to kill God, the God, God Killer. Or, pardon me, Godspeed. Why kill Godspeed? Uh, I don't know. Does it really matter? I mean, he's a speedster. I mean, if Reverse Flash can come back a billion times from death, I imagine Godspeed can too. I mean, isn't Godspeed supposed to have this power of being in three, four, five, ten places at once? So what's the big deal? I, I, I don't get it. Plus, if, if just a quick note here, if Paradox, before Paradox died, if Paradox got all this power from every time the past was changed, how come he never got more powerful because of all the nonsense that the Reverse Flash was doing and traveling back and forth all the time and changing things. Because one of the things that Reverse Flash does in 756 is that he decides, he decides that he wants to have a family just like the Flash has a family. So rather than doing it the normal way of, you know, going out, getting a girlfriend, you know, maybe getting laid to have a few kids, et cetera, maybe get married, maybe not get married, have a prenup, that's important. Uh, but, you know, instead of doing all that stuff, you know, he decides, well, he's going to, his family's going to consist of, you know, an ape. You know, you got to go get Gorilla Grodd. But you can't just go and ask Gorilla Grodd in the present. You got to travel in the past. So now, now Reverse Flash is going and he visits all the rogues at different points in the past. And now Barry Allen, Barry Allen has finally decided to put his foot down and said, I got to kill Reverse Flash. Really? Barry, slow down. No, really slow down. I'm talking about think, <laughs> okay? You don't know how to think when you're running, Barry, and you don't know how to think when you're standing still. So it re I don't care what you're doing while you're trying to think, Barry. It's not going to make a difference on the outcome. You're still going to be an idiot, but try to follow along, all right? Because here's, ha here's what happens, Barry. See, you reverse flash has been killed at least twice, probably more times in the past that we know of. All right? And he's, it doesn't work. So killing Reverse Flash doesn't work. If Dr. Manhattan killing Reverse Flash doesn't wipe him from the existence of the multiverse, I don't think anything you can do, Barry, is going to have any effect whatsoever. Now, I can, I'm, I'm talking through the fourth wall to Barry Allen, but I'm actually talking in this reality to the bad writing of Joshua Williamson. 
None of this makes any sense. Now, as far as I can tell in this issue of 756, I, I don't understand what's happening here. I'm trying to follow along. So he's going to form a Legion of Zoom. And, and, and to, for what end? To, to what? You're going to defeat Barry? And then he's going to get the uh, Tornado Twins? He wants to recruit the Tornado Twins, who says that the family that stays together hates together. Right. Now, if you want to know who their Tornado Twins are, uh, what makes that potentially interesting, it, it won't in the context of the story. And that's one of the things that frustrates me is that Joshua Williamson is just puking out using all these characters in these horribly crafted, nonsensical storylines that prevents other writers from coming along and actually do something useful and constructive with them. That's what I don't like about it. It's very, very bothersome to me. It's sort of like if you're going to use characters, use them for a good storyline, not one that doesn't make sense even in its foundations. And this one does not make sense even in its foundations. Um, by the way, I give these two issues, I give them both a three out of ten. Terribly written, horribly crafted, don't fit well together at all. Uh, but I, I want to I just elaborate on this. The Tornado Twins, in case you're wondering who they are, they're Barry Allen's future children. When, when Barry Allen... Uh, sacrificed his life in Crisis on Infinite Earths. Uh, at that time when he died, his wife, Iris, was in, the, was in the, the future, at that time, the 30th century, and she had children, uh, and her children would become their tornado twins, but apparently these children are now evil. <laughs> Why are they evil? I don't know. Because Joshua Williamson says so. Um... This is so ridiculous. Uh, I don't, uh, nothing of this makes any sense. No time is taken to craft any of the characterizations of, of enough of any of the villains. Uh, so much is just puked out to the reader. None of this makes any sense. Again, we have, we have you know, Barry Allen. You, you can just bet that the dumbest character in every single issue is the lead character, Barry Allen. Barry Allen is depressed, he's moping, he's a failure. There's nothing happy about him. If you want a, if you want a flash that smiles, you got to look for Wally West. You know, Wally West. Unfortunately, right now, Wally West is in the pages of Death Metal, and Scott Snyder <laughs> isn't making Wally West smile much either anymore. But hey, you know, that's the current DC Universe for you guys. Woohoo! But in any event, I hold, I hold out hope for Wally West. I think Scott Snyder is going to give us a happy ending on Death Metal. And unlike my buddy Dark Knight and some other people, I enjoy Death Metal and I do encourage people to go pick it up. I want Wally West to play a role, along with Wonder Woman, in defeating the Batman Who Laughs, who hopefully is dead and stays dead, and defeating the forces of Perpetua and the dark multiversal forces of the dark multiverse. But I digress. <laughs> what I don't want to recommend is this Flash comic. I can't recommend it. But here's the thing. From a, from a purely speculator standpoint, this is the formation of the Legion of Zoom. And so, for pure spec purposes, and because Flash is, I mean, like, what else are you going to buy in the midst of a pandemic, right? I mean, you might as well pick up the Flash. It's not going to make much sense. You're going to feel probably a rapport with this comic because the world's not making much sense right now. So when you read a comic book like this, that doesn't make much sense. Maybe that'll make you feel good. You know, it'll maybe make you feel more sane on the, by virtue of the fact that nothing you read makes sense, so the world doesn't make sense. I don't know. Of course, it might also further depress you, cause you to commit suicide, so maybe you shouldn't read it. I don't know. All I can tell you is, this is not working. And this is, it's not even funny. And, I mean, again, it's so stupid for Barry Allen to say, now this is the final, this is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Barry Allen finally decides he wants to, he's gonna kill Reverse Flash, finally. Reverse Flash killed his mom. Reverse Flash confessed to killing uh, Godspeed's uh, brother. Reverse Flash has killed anyone. Joshua Williamson, you are a one-hit wonder. Is everything because of the Reverse Flash? Is everything? Is there anyone else? Is there any other villain worth mentioning in your entire run? Wow. And then I say again, Joshua Williamson's Flash run is worse than Tom King's Batman. And I will happily happily defend that to anybody this is just plain awful just like the whole slew of storylines in tom king's batman run led to nowhere we have it's the same fault with josh williamson's the flash we have a slew of storylines that do not add up do not line up are nonsensical and have gone and will have gone and will be said to have gone 
absolutely nowhere, I promise you, by the time this Legion of Zoom is done. Nothing makes sense. So, hey, as far you don't need flat, you know, if there was going to be another flash to die, let it be Barry Allen. He deserves to be dead. This is horrendous. Put Barry Allen out of his misery. End the flash run. Make Wally West flash. Put this sad excuse of a character called Barry Allen out of the misery and the minds of readers. This is nonsense. And that's all I got to say about that. Follow me on Twitter at Metropolis40. Tell me why I'm wrong. Good luck with that in the comments below. And until next time, Comic Boom out.